Hi, it's Cassie, artist in residence with Imagine. I made this fun camping scene using Joy Claire stamps and versatile Imagine products. So I took this old um, Halloween frame and I repurposed it. And I'm just covering the whole thing with white gesso. I'm getting in the inside of the frame and ar around the border as well so that I can cover it with other um, uh, pigments and inks. Uh, I did end up doing two coats of gesso on this just to make sure that that print, uh, that Halloween print wasn't going to show through. So once it's completely dry, then I'm coming back in with a stencil that looks kind of like a landscape to me and some flexible modeling paste. And I'm just covering the bottom third of the inside of that frame. And you'll see uh, I have to kind of use that stencil twice, right, because it doesn't quite go to the edge to edge but it's okay it doesn't have to be perfect the lines don't need to match up beautifully it's just a fun kind of whimsy um, project that we're doing here so it doesn't have to be perfect so once that bottom part was dry then I came back in with another stencil with some really awesome clouds and again I'm using the flexible modeling paste and just coming through and grabbing a couple of clouds and some stars. And you'll see here I'm doing some cleanup after. That was a tricky spot to get. Um, but again, it, the product cleans up nicely and, um, and really it's just about getting what you want on in the frame and then you can clean up around the the other pieces. You can see too, I, I did include some stars. So while those are drying, I decided to start stamping. So I'm using this really fun, love the stamp set from Joy Claire. It's called Happy St Happy Camper. And it came with a, an SVG file that I could use with my electronic die cutting machine to cut out these shapes with cardstock so that when I stamp them, they're perfectly cut out and I don't have to do any fussy cutting. So I really love that. So I cut out, I'm sorry, I uh, stamped the Camper in Nocturne, uh, Versifying Claire ink, and then the trees, I made three of them and I stamped those in shady lane and then I'm doing a little bit of masking for this campfire because I wanted pine cone for the logs and cheerful for the actual fire so I did a little bit of masking there and just kind of putting the ink in uh, on either side so there I have that nice campfire and next I'm I want to color in some of the details of these awesome stamps. So here I'm using the Fabrico um, markers. You can use them on paper or fabric or many other surfaces and they're beautiful and wonderful. The colors are vibrant and great and I use them quite a bit. And so here I'm using uh, the red is brick and the orange is called autumn leaf. And then this brown that I'm using on the logs is called chocolate. So just coloring that fun um, campfire and then I'm going to do the rest as well. Um, the trees here I'm using <clears throat> uh, pine and these are all Fabrico markers. I did use a couple of memento markers too. Um, they both work great. And then there we have the chocolate again for the, for the um, other part of the tree. And then for the camper, I really, it kind of looked like those old chrome metal kind of um, campers to me. So I used the gray for the base, for the background of that camper. And then I just filled it in with some brighter colors. Um, I did a teal door and a red stripe and a little bit of the green apple in there just to give it a little bit, a um, little more fun and color to it. And I really just wanted it to be not not really well colored. I just wanted, you know, kind of whimsical. So next, uh, now that this is dry, I'm coming back with the walnut stain in eucalyptus. And I am just using my paintbrush to color it in. Now this comes in a spray bottle, but, you know, you can always take the spray bottle off and paint with your brush so you can uh, get more um, focused coloring. And then once that was dry, it came back in with Pico Embellisher in gold. I love Pico Embellisher. I, I really want to use it on every project because not only is it dimensional, 
it is also glossy and it resists other color so you're going to see in a minute i'm coming in with bahama blue firework spray and now i did let that pico embellisher dry okay but now i'm going to color over it with this blue and you'll see when it dries that it resists that color it just falls right off of there and so I still have beautiful gold stars but I don't have to worry about coloring around them or anything and they're going to be glossy and um, and stand out so Pico Embellisher is a must-have product in my opinion. I'm coming in here with the darker um, blue called Paris Dusk and I'm just spritzing it with water to give it that nice watercolor look and you'll see when it dries uh, how much lighter it is. So you could always go over and give it a second coat if you wanted it to be a little more vibrant. So then I'm coming in with the bamboo leaves to give that uh, landscape just a little more dimension and a little bit brighter green. So I'm back to the Pico embellisher because I've said that I love this product and I really do. I use it so often and it comes in so many different colors. Um, here again, I am outlining the whole cloud. I wanted these clouds to stand out a little bit more and to have some dimension. And again, when I'm working on on pieces like this where there's a lot going on, I really like to have a few different kinds of textures, right? So on the bottom, we have the rough texture of the landscape. In the, in the sky, we have, it's pretty flat, but there's a lot of shimmer there from the firework spray. So that is, that is kind of a dimension and texture. It's giving your eye something different to look at. And then now the clouds, you can see there, the clouds are dry and they're super glossy from that Pico embellisher. So I really like to, to mix it up a little bit and keeps it um, visually interesting and, and dynamic. So now I'm just taking all those um, die cut pieces and stamped pieces and deciding where I want to put them. And when you're working with um, mixed media projects where you're using different types of products, like here we have a wood base with uh, the Pico embellisher, which, you know, is kind of shiny. And and then we have the paper and, and all of those different types of surfaces. It's really important to use a strong, durable um, adhesive. So here I'm using just the flexible modeling paste that I had out that I used with the stencil to stick it all down to make sure it stays in place. So this is a camping scene, so I couldn't really finish it without having a nice wooden frame. Um, the wooden frame goes with the theme, but also it really helps to make the scene stand out. Um, it's nice and dark, this color. It's a walnut ink, um, but this is the Java walnut ink. And it really helps to make the scene pop and stand out and, you know, serves that camping, has that camping feel and, and uh, look to it. So I used a nice flat brush here on the edge so you can see I get a good... Uh, line uh, and separation there between the frame and the scene so I don't um, go over into the scene at all. So there is my finished project. So now we're seeing the shine uh, from the firework spray and the sky. We're seeing the glossy clouds and stars. We're seeing that fun coloring with the markers using this great stamp set from Joy Claire. It's called Happy Stamper and really I can't think of a better pairing than these two um, companies with Imagine and Joy Claire. I loved making this project. I hope you found some inspiration and, and for more inspiration please visit imaginecrafts.com. Thank you.